Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2024 Bowman Baseball Jumbo. Four box, pick your team number two. The last promo break we gotta do to unlock the break credit promo. We'll do that randomizer video after this. Everyone on this list, you are in it. And thankfully we didn't do a filler, so we didn't add another group of names to this list. We sold this out straight up. Joe, last spot mojo with the Nats, good luck. And here is the case. Uh, the second half of the case coming up right here. Break number two. Remember I marked those two or Z, I guess. The twos can look like Zs sometimes. Pretty much finals everywhere in, uh, in some limited baseball action today. My Dodgers are in the Big Apple. They're the Dodgers-Mets game postponed. So I, I got no Dodger baseball today, but I'll get double the Dodger baseball tomorrow. I think they're doing a, doing a double header tomorrow. Giants beat the Phillies 8-4. Nationals beat the Braves in Atlanta 8-4 in the, in the post no Ronald Acuna world for Atlanta. Sucks for Ronald Acuna Jr. and the Braves. Reds beat the Cardinals 3-1. Rockies beat the Guardians 8-6. Uh, Brewers beat the Cubs 5-1. Blue Jays beat the White Sox 5-1. Twins. Uh, Twins edged out the Royals 6-5. Orioles put the hurt on the Red Sox 11-3. I think Marlins Padres are still tied at one apiece in the bottom of the sixth, but the Padres have the bases loaded. Looks like a walk, a single, a strikeout, and a hit by pitch has loaded the bases. Only one out. All right, good luck. Here we go. I think most of you know the key players by now. We've done a lot of these breaks. Aiden Miller is one of our key guys. That's going to go to Mark and the Phillies. Got the Phillies straight up. Everyone got their team straight up, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Here's some Luna right here. Douglas Glaude, 60 out of 125. Be for Jeremy Port and the Braves. Aiden Miller, key guy. Turns the pizza for me? Two minutes. Dylan Cruz, a key guy. Joe Lawson with the Nats. Second overall pick last year. Kyle Teal, also a key player. Jonathan Kent with the uh, the Boston Red Sox. Chrome Dylan Cruz. There's Jared Cerna to 299, and behind him is an autograph, John Wimmer. 474 out of 499. I'll do an auto recap at the end of this break, too. That's going to be for Christopher and the Halos. Brock Wilkin is another 
key prospect that we're sleeving and top loading. It's gonna go to Ryan Heinz and the Brew Crew. Darren's wondering if students can major in breaking now as an option. I don't know. If not, maybe maybe we'll have to we'll have to petition a uh, a university to offer that. Luis Baez, it's another key prospect. Aaron with the Astros, paper. Well, I suppose I, that's something I could do in retirement, Darren. I can become a. Become a professor of, uh, of group breaks. Arjun Namala, another key player. Eric K with Toronto. Walker Jank, another key player. Twins, Brett Myers. Yeah, there are there are degrees, more worthless degrees than, than breaking. That's for sure. Yeah, we could probably, we'd have to start with, you know, we'd have saving Yamamoto's as well, Yamamoto and Ellie Dela Cruz's. Those are the only two rookies we're keeping an eye on. Kevin with the Dodgers. We'd have to slip that the group breaking class into a uh, into a different curriculum, and then expand from there. It's George Lombard Jr. Yankees Tristan. So I think we'd probably offer it as a as a sort of you know a minor or a. Uh, or a concentration in a specific major, probably like broadcasting. There's Ellie Dela Cruz, Joe Lawson, the Reds. And then we can expand our, our academic horizons from there. There's Jack Hurley, gold paper, 43 out of 50. Eric M and the Diamondbacks. So maybe it'd be under the broadcasting thing. I don't doubt it, Darren. D Darren saying that there was a school in California that had a course on Keanu Reeves movies. It does not surprise me. There's Eric Batista. That's for Colorado. That's for the Porterhouse Steak. On the board, Darren. American Heritage with Emerson on Sports and the minor in breaking. There you go. I like it, Victor. All right, trading cards are very, uh, if you think about it, it's a very unique, uniquely American thing. Obviously, everyone knows it, you know, Trading cards were initially introduced to sell tobacco products back in the day. But uniquely, uniquely American. Here's Jacob Burke, 139 out of 150. That it will be for the White Sox. That's going to be for Gary. And obviously, collectibles and ephemera. You know, definitely picked up post-World War II. Kids in Europe, South America, I think they, uh, they grew up more with uh, those Panini sticker books, those World Cup sticker books or soccer team sticker books. It was a big thing for them. Check it out at 
There's Luis Baez, Walker Jenkins, Honus Wagner, not a fan of Debaki. I think that's right, right? Is that, is that, I think that's why those Honus Wagners are so valuable. Because he said, I don't want my name, image, and likeness on a, in tobacco packs. So there's not too much out there. There's Masataka Yoshida to 199, Purple Paisley. All right, box one of four in the books. Think Honus, uh, you think Honus Wagner, I think, why? Was he, was he a Quaker? Was he a teetotaler? Was a no vice kind of guy? So Wagner was I'm on the Wikipedia page here. Honus Wagner, born to German immigrants. Peter and Catherine Wagner in the borough of Chartiers, which in what is now Carnegie, Pennsylvania. He was one of nine children. As a child, he was called Hans by his mother, which later evolved into Honus. Hans was also an alternate nickname during his major league career. Wagner dropped out of school at 12 to help his father and brothers in the coal mines. Wow, the Pennsylvania coal mines. In their free time, him and his brothers played Sandlot baseball and developed the skills to such an extent that three of his brothers went on to become professionals as well. Wagner's older brother, Albert Butts Wagner, who had a very brief major league career himself, is often credited with getting Honus his first tryout. Butts, B-U-T-T-S, which is, Kind of funny because, you know, the whole cigarette thing. Uh, Butts per, uh, persuaded his manager to take a look at his younger brother following his brother Wagner trained to be a barber before becoming successful in baseball. I wonder how many, how much hair he cut in the, uh, in the dugouts during a rainout or something like that. And then he married, uh, got married in 1916. A couple had a few daughters one of which was, did not survive childbirth, and two others. Wonder, uh, wonder how much anti-German sentiment he got. That's, that's during like World War I, World War II. Uh, Albert Wagner Butts was born on my birthday, September 17th. No word on why his. No word on why he's uh, he's butts. So. All right, next box. There's a baseball card section that we'll that we'll get to as well. Yeah, Darren's saying that he didn't want to promote a bad habit that kids could get into. Look at this. Good guy, Honus Wagner, looking out for the kids. Another Aiden Miller for the Phillies, for Mark. Looking for three more autographs in here. We'll get back to the Honus Wagner story. 
sometimes these longer breaks like this can be fun to dive into a, a random topic. There's a Kyle Teal for Boston. Oh, you probably have. Why am I wa still watching men's college golf when I could be watching the NBA? No, that region. That, I don't want to watch regional coverage. Don't need to watch Marlins Padres, but I do want to watch Celtics Pacers. Do the Celtics close it out? Eighty-nine percent of YouTube chat voters say yes. We're gonna end that poll. There's Ellie. And we got Chris Bryant. Magenta pink to $2.99. Rockies, that'll be for the Porterhouse steak. Chris Bryant, of course, injuries derailing his his career. Arjun, paper. We're about three minutes left in the first quarter. Boston up by three, 23-20. Eric K with Toronto. Brock Porter. House steak, 210 out of 399. Lava, Dylan Cruz, paper. Dylan Cruz will go to Joe, last spot Mojo, Brock Porter, 399. We've got a Texas, that'll also be for Joe. Volume a tad on the TV. Walker James spot talking about Wagner. There's a player who not many people talk about, says Darren. Hall of Famer Sam Crawford, who is the all time leader in triples, only struck out 580 times with over nine, wow, 9,500 ABs. Brock Wilkin, Luis Baez, and a teammate of Ty Cobb. I think if we transported those guys here today, they'd be like, what? You guys are striking out 200 times a year? There's a sense of pride not striking out. They'd be here and they'd be like, what the hell are these guys doing? Disrespectful to the game, they would say. Yeah, then the next question would be, wait, wait, how much do these guys get paid? A lot of these guys, like, I feel like Honus Wagner probably, you know, probably had, like, a second job. 
He was probably still mining coal in the offseason. Wait. You're right. Big rig? I've not noticed. Did we get shorted autos in this box? There's a John Wimmer to 499. Here's Gladiators of the Diamond, Aiden Miller. I think that's a, a shorter print here, but yeah, no autos. I don't know if we have any more. I'll talk to Nick and I'll see what we can do for you guys here. Or maybe we'll see six in the next box. So we'll see if we can uh, get something done for you guys. We'll yell at Tops or something. All right. <laughs> It'll probably be Guardians, especially because you bought them, Victor. That's just how the hobby gods designate things sometimes. All right. Or maybe we'll get bonus autos in the next box here. We'll see. So the T206 Honus Wagner baseball card is one of the rarest, most expensive baseball cards in the world, as only 57 copies are known to exist. They were issued by American Tobacco Company, ATC, from 20, uh, 1909 to 1911 as part of its T206 series. While sources allege that Wagner, a non-smoker, refused to allow production of his baseball card to continue, the more likely reason was the sum ATC was willing to pay Wagner. Interesting. Well, I guess it always comes down to money, right? The ATC ended production of the Wagner card and a total of only 57 to 200 cards were ever distributed to the public as compared to the tens or hundreds of thousands of T206 cards uh, over three years and 16 brands of cigarettes for any other player. So there you have it. Even as early as 1933, the card was listed at a price value of 50 bucks in Jefferson Burdick's The American Card Catalog. Wow, I kind of want that catalog now. Making it the most expensive baseball card at the time. So it sounded sounds like it's more about it's more about money. He had appeared on advertisements for a number of other products such as chewing gum, gunpowder, soft drinks. But he simply did not give his consent. All right. Next box this is Arjun, Toronto, that's going to be for Eric Kay, Brock Wilkin, George Lombard, Uh, 
I was gonna say, someone should look up, look that up. Yeah, that's $1,200 in today's money. So, there we go. A lot, lot, add a lot more zeros behind that now. What was the most recent sale? On August 3rd, 2022, a T206 Honus Wagner was sold in a private sale for a sports card record high of 7.25 million, eclipsing the previous high of 6.6 .6 million. It's kind of crazy to think about. It just keeps going up. I suppose a card of that caliber, you know, that. That value will always be, always be there. Paper George Lombard, Yankees of course, Tristan and then Jordan Walker to four ninety nine. We'll go to Kevin and the Cardinals. Yeah, in a, in a different world, we may we you're, very, you're right, Victor. We may we may have been busting open tobacco to find these cards here. There's Yandre Morales, nice. Green Lunar, these are not numbered, but they are parallels. Nice one for Joe and the Nats. Right, I had chain smoke to get through the brakes. Another Arjun. Another Arjun. Yeah, there, there's the, there's been some famous Honus Wagners, right? There's the Gretzky Honus Wagner. Where is that now? Is it still Gretzky's? I don't think so. He sold it, right? Be like uh, be like Mad Men would be smoking the entire time. Spies, Walker Jenkins. Uh, I do not know. Brock Wilkin. Oh, the Gretzky one's been altered? George Lombard. Kyle Teal. I'm getting nervous here. This is another box where we haven't seen an auto yet. Here's Paul Skeens, 85 out of 150. That's for the Pirates, that's for Patrick. Yeah, we're going to, we'll have to try to get replacements from this, and I'll, I'll talk to Nick, see what we can do on this. I mean, one box happens, you know, but two boxes, that's not good. So we'll figure out, we'll figure something else out.
Come on. All right. That sucks. Yeah, and yeah, we did open the, so we know that it's not just sort of an imbalance within the case itself. Sorry guys. Hayden, uh, let me clearly, whenever that sells out, I think we got a filler to do for that. And then once it does, We'll add it to the schedule, which is pinned in the chat. So you can always see what we've done, what we're doing, and what we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we're gonna do about this. Big rig, it's not, it's not your fault. This is a bit of a bust here. Manual Tejada to 199 Lunar. There's an auto right there. So we do, do this box will at least have one. There's a Riku Nishida, White Sox. It's going to go to Gary. Yeah, oh, is that filler not full yet, Peyton? Yeah. I always remember, folks, that, there, that uh, if there's a break sold out, and I think we have this kind of noted in the break schedule, too, that uh, if there's a break sold out, always double check within the same section to see if there's like a pack or a break or something like that where we're giving away teams. You don't by any chance have any trilogy, do you? Trilogy? No, no trilogy. I don't think so. Uh, Mike Bove to 299. There's Ellie Della Cruz.
We do have a second autograph here. Speckle Auto, Augustine Ramirez, 88 out of 299. That's for Tristan and the Yankees. <laughs> no, it's not Big Rick's fault. Unless he works for the uh, the factory and intentionally misinserted the autos during in the packing process, then it would be his fault if he was there. Ben Williamson to 250. That would be quite a magic trick, Victor. Yeah, if, uh, if I have a bit of advice for anyone who's doing group breaks for the first time, um, never do a group break with a magician. Anyone who is, uh, is, a, is an expert at sleight of hand. You don't want to do that. I mean, I would even argue that maybe, maybe we should be worried about, about magicians. Well, there's a lot of issues that we have to think about in the world. Why aren't we talking about magicians? It's Tony Blanco Jr., Pirates. So we did get three autographs out of here. Patrick with the Pirates. Dylan Cruz, Green Lunar. Let's see what else we can end with here. You think the Clearly Filler is sold out? Nice. It's not a clean top loader there. Good, then we'll, uh, then we'll add it to the schedule once I go through some orders. Whatever the next open time slot is. It's Daniel Susak to $3.99. Lombard Jr. All right, well, not the best break here. Obviously, we were shorted uh, autos in two boxes. We'll, we'll figure out, I, I reached out to Nick. We're gonna figure out what we, what we can do for you on that. But um, we will do the promo video after this as well. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. See you next time for the next one, jazbeescasebreaks.com.